Griff Patch is one of the best and most well-known Scratch developers of all time. He has made countless crazy games as well as done amazing things for the Scratch community, including his tutorials. So today, I'm going to be taking a look at his most popular tutorial and seeing if it really helps me make something great. We'll make a new costume for the player. So click with me into the stage backdrop. Alright, so the first thing we need, according to Griff Patch, is a character and a backdrop. So pretty, pretty self-explanatory. That is exactly what I'm going to do now. There we go. Let's make it blue. And there we go. We have our character. It's nothing too complicated. But once again, we are following a tutorial. So we'll stick with uh, this guy over here. Alright, so since we have our character, we need to make a backdrop. And according to Griff Patch, we don't need to make it too complicated. So let me make like the initial background, uh, the color of the sky. And basically, Griff Patch tells us to just make a very simple ground area for our character, as well as some steps like this and some kind of obstacles. So I guess I'll just go with this floating green blob actually let's make our character a bit smaller while we're here so oh no no not 600 not oh yes smooth the player now looks to be falling and landing flush with the ground no visible penetration and no floating or unwanted bouncing around okay so the next step griff patch tells us to do is to you know sort out the gravity and stuff and the ground collisions so, you know, the character can actually jump. And now, well, since the code is kind of given in the video, let me just... And the last of all, here we go. Okay, so we are finished with the gravity on ground collision code. I have no idea what any of this means. But now, according to Griff Patch, our little character should be able to jump. So let's click the green flag, but watch what happens when I click space. Oh my god. You know, I've never done this before. This is like my first time making like an actual normal game. That's quite a transformation. This is feeling much more like a platformer already. Okay, change X by 10 and we need to set it over here, I think. And Oh my god, oh my god, the character just ran away. Oh, did you see that? Let me let me try this again. It's change X by 10. <laughs> the character just skedaddles, bro. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm pretty sure that walking animation should work. Okay, yeah, and it does like expected. Like, as you can see, I can go left and right, and I am sliding really fast. But besides that, so far, it's going pretty great. As you can see, I can run around and climb these stairs and... <laughs> apparently teleport to this platform over here. I don't think that should be in the game. I'll literally dash over to the first step and celebration, we have contact. There's no passing through this one now. Okay, so now we just fix so that the floor isn't that slippery as you can see. The floor and the whole walk-in animation is just more uh, like smoother now. I don't have to like slide both ways, but I'm just curious what happens if we change this number to like say, all right, I don't know what will happen. The floor should be just very slippery and oh my god, okay Immediately why the speed X see this random number like there's an E in it You know the number is serious when there's an E in it. All right, so let me click go and and we are not moving But the speed X is changing. I think we broke the game. Okay, so 0 0.99 is like the the limit to as how slippery ca uh, the floor can be but it's it's i just wanted to test it out i'm not gonna leave it like that okay so the last thing i need to do is just change this to 100 and apparently it should work so let me see okay it's promising okay we are moving nicely we can wait why can why can I jump? Hold on. Five minutes later. All right, so now I'm pretty sure the whole moving and jumping thing should be fixed. So let me see. Okay, I don't know why it's so laggy, but we are sliding right and left. Now let me try jump. Hold on. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, I'm going through the stairs. Oh no, I already messed something up. Okay, I I keep them keep them slamming space and I can't just jump. For some reason, I'm now going through the stairs and it's just laggy. I don't know what I messed up, man. Come on. Two hours later. All right, so for the past like 30 minutes, I've been trying to work out the problem. I've been going backwards and forwards through the video. And for some reason, my scratch started to run on like 2 FPS, as you can see. Basically, my conclusion would be Griff Patch tutorials do work 
I'm just too dumb for them. So if you want a part two where I actually finish the game and actually like solve the problems I'm facing right now, let me know in the comments, like the video, subscribe and stuff. And yeah, go go watch the Griff Patch tutorial yourself. I'm I'm seriously recommended. It's good. I'm just too dumb for it. So I'm seriously not the one to show you how to do everything. All right, and now finally, let me just close Scratch because I seriously suck at making games. Yeah.